with me wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game in stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. And the list of names suggests that what we have in front of us here, Jim, is a 3-5-2 formation. Well, the formation that was once the staple diet of the Italian game and still holds its place. To be honest, Peter, had I gone on to be a coach, this would have been my preferred setup. I think it can service many different approaches and it could add numbers quite quickly at either end of the pitch. With the right talent, this can be a, a thriving structure. We have already started here. Forward it goes. Caceres plays it forward, gets the better of his man. Oh, real chance! It's in! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Fiorentina have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Because of that first goal now, it's a great opportunity to make a one-way traffic and add to this lead. Samu Castillejo. And the shot! No, he's missed it. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Piontek shapes the shoot. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Milan were imperious when the two sides last met. The fans are asking for more of the same. Gazal. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Now the counter. Piontek floats one over. Good ball over the top. Fiorentina have statistically the worst defence in the league. Chiesa. Chiesa! A great save, real class. Chiesa simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Fiorentina seek a performance here, which is next rather better on the boss. He's taken a fair amount of criticism in the wake of the last game. I think tactically he didn't make a good job of things for starters and then compounded matters in trying to correct it. 
I only hope he sticks in. What an adventurous run from a defender. You can get that clear. He's gone for it! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Here's Ribery, hits one! Room for a shot. It's come loose. Castillejo. Piontek. Going through. Samu Castillejo. Cuts it out. Samu Castillejo and the weighted pass. We get a throw in. Mario Goetze. Played into heads it. Gasol. Now it's Ribery. Ribery cut out in the nick of time. It's another to add to football's endless list of could haves and should haves. Uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution. Now it's Chelhanolu. Tries a shot! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. Chalamolu knows only too well that he should have converted after getting through one on one. He doesn't need telling. Put offside that time. Good take. And Ribery! Oh, that is lovely footwork. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Piontek. Surely a shot. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. Danger averted for now. Ribéry and his goal scoring skills have already been evident. Samu Castillejo. He gets past his man. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. And the first half is done. Off they go for half time. The victory did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Not the most convincing of displays, they could certainly do much better than this. They want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes.
Gets things going for the second half. Milan don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. He goes along. Cleared away. Caceres tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. Incoming cross. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Piontek. And here's Chalhanolu. He's had a shot! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. You lucky boy, you lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. Now surely has a pop! In for the follow-up! This could fall anywhere! They've scored! Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. has certainly made things interesting. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. Chiesa. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And it's Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Chiesa. Now it's Chelhanolu. Chelhanolu plays it out to the wing. Driving on a real charge here. Mario Goetze. Piontek. Chalano has a goal! Shame that was nicely worked. That was created because of good lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Gasal, nicely measured pass. Ribéry, lovely bit of skill there. Can he deliver? And it's played forward. Shalhanolu. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, better communication and, and lots of contact seems to be the, the route to quietening him down there. That's a promising ball. Tonelli gets good distance on it. And there's going to be another change here.
In towards the middle, goes for goal! And surely this time, goal Milan! And the comeback is complete! Piontek was quick to move in, keeper's handling wasn't great. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Milan go into the lead. And they deserve great credit for he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. That's surely a foul free kick. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. It was, it was a sterling effort, and at least he kept it on target. It was, yeah, it was worth it, though. Look at the defender bombing forward. Timely intervention. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Not long left in this now. Is this to be it? Is this where their title bid hits the buffers? Piontek. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Chalanolu. Shot at goal! Milan are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Caceres goes looking. Chalanolu tries lifting it over. Milan needs to hold on for a few more moments. They're making life really hard for themselves. The ball needs to be in the mixer, not there. And it's Boate. He came in hard, very hard. In with the challenge. Chiesa. And there goes the final whistle. Milan have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character, and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure. The end of the game. Reflections? Yes, they turned a lost cause into a great cause. It took resilience and character, but they had ample amounts. Thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.
so perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are in the conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. We survey Milan's famous Curva Sud, one of the truly great shrines of the beautiful game. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Can see this gets it back. Forward it goes. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. It's being played forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Milan, are the most prolific team in the league this season. We sit high. That intervention was very necessary. Samuel Castillo really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Conti. Milan were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Hernandez. Piontek. Lucas Paqueta! Goal, Milan! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. Milan take the early advantage. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Gets into a dangerous position. Lucas Paqueta. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Can see this plays it forward. Oh, he's in! Oh, it's a fine challenge, and it goes his way. Steered forward. Piontek, he's away. Can he find a finish now? Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Lucas Paqueta. And the ball's come out. And it's the goalkeepers to play. Could move up a gear here. Head towards the front men. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Now, surely! Now, can he capitalise? Shot a goal! Milan were relieved to hold on for a win last time round, and go again now. And the flag has stayed down. Piontek. Header! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though.
this man. Got a sight of goal here. Quick pull forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And he is going into that little black book. a waste they've played it short just brushed off the ball there forward what does he try from here? Still going. Where to next? He's there to his... Tries a shot! He scores! And with that goal comes comfort. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning regular. Made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. <laughs> Milan got themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? And they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Decent looking ball. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Hoists it forward. Lucas Paqueta. First half to a close. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why do they from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Milan go in at half time on a comfortable two goal cushion. And we're off again. Hernandez. Piontek. El Sharawi. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. El Sharawi unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. That's alert and sharp and very well played. Lucas Paqueta. Piontek. Samu Castillejo. Looking to get with it, Samu Castillo! And that has put pay to that. And it's Tachidis. Castillo. Lucas Paqueta. El Sharawi. Piontek, oh, well played, he saw that coming. Keeper sends it forward. Lucas Paqueta. Piontek, it's Piontek! It's good distance on it. Oh, he's really drilled it.
Hernandez. A couple of goals between the sides, and it's still early in the second half. And the shot! And it's there! And they are cruising away. A simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? And that's what the game was all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pastor to pick him out. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Over to the left. Piontek. Gets on the end of it. Danger averted for now. And here's El Sharawi. So who's he picking out? He's had a shot! Got the hard part right, but the rest wrong. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. There to clear it. And he's there to hoof it away. Now it's El Sharawi. Whipped it again. And he can get that clear. And now the breakaway. Hernandez tries to get it forward quickly. He's made sure that that won't get through. Gets it upfield. El Sharawi proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Good clearance and very necessary. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. It's Maya. Ricky Pooch. And here's El Sharawi. It's a brilliant interception.
Babakar desperately wants to get on the end of this. Floats one over. Donnarumma deals with it effortlessly. Piontek. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Almost nothing left on the clock here. Ball through needs to be good here. Babacar! Outstanding save to keep that out. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Taxidis plays it short. Bailly battles to win it back. A chance to play it in. He's there to get rid. Into the last five minutes. Piontek. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Keeper's got good distance on that. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Babacar. Breaks on here. Plays it out to the wing. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Just brushed off the ball there. Conti conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. He's left his man. Now it's El Shirawi. Loose. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Stands firm and it's bounced out. And that's that. Milan, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they put on the ball, they look like scoring. It is a landslide. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads, and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. Well, that's it from us. Thanks very much, Jim. It's a very good day to you from both of us.